Nintendo. What's up, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome to Let's Play Animal Crossing for 365,000 days. Okay, not really. We'll delete the thousand parts. But anyways, yes, welcome to Animal Crossing. Came to us in 2001-2002 by Nintendo. Apparently, who would have freaking thought? Ooh, who is this mysterious character? Well, that's some pretty good guitar playing skills, I gotta say. So, decide to move out. Get your own place. See the world. That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living your own, being free. It feels great. Feels good, man. But living by yourself can be a real drag too, man. Still, if you got some real tight friends somewhere nearby, then you'll know it'll all work out. Yeah, man, friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. So, are you ready to hop in that train and go for a ride? Heck yes! Yeah, sure, what's, why not? Let's just go. Oh, I almost forgot, man. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends come here, too. Yeah, it'd be real cool if your friends came to visit your town. Later. Peace out, Mr. KK. Yes, so, um, I do want to put a whole bunch of down... <laughs> Uh, put all there back put down some ground rules right now about what I'm gonna be doing here and also watch the window the window on the left there when he sits down there's already a glitch in this game who would have thought um, excuse me do you have a second could you help me out let's see it's 12 47 p.m. on Tuesday January 8th correct uh, is it it's it's pretty close but what it's not well do you think you could straighten this out for me so first off um, this is gonna be. Oh, this is always gonna be a day behind. So, as in, it is January the eighth, right? Let's, let's check this out. In, indeed, it is 2013. So, so you, this is actually January eighth, 2013. But you guys will not be seeing this till tomorrow. This is. This is gonna be like it every day. Perfect, perfect. Because um, this just gives me more chance to play whenever I want, instead of uh, instead of having to worry about playing before like 5 p.m. and editing and uploading and rendering and all that. So, do you mind if you sit here? Heck yes, I was drooling on your shirt and such so yeah I'm gonna, this is always gonna be a day behind oh you see that window it just magically flashed open thanks again cheers nice meeting you friendly folk you're on a cycle right just kidding by the way what's your name my name I've always had the tradition of doing Chris in all lowercase not sure why probably because when I first started playing this game I didn't really know how to grammar wasn't the thing I guess no that is an odd name how dare you don't laugh at me um, isn't it cool? Actually, if you say it's cute, he assumes your girl says it's cool, then he, he assumes you're a boy. So we're gonna say it's cool, because I'm a freaking boy. Yeah, it's a great name for a boy. Yeah. It's a really great name, indeed it is. You know it. Um, but yes. Second rule. I will not be tra traveling at all, unless there's like, uh, there's, there's an absolute reason I need to. Like, let's say there's a holiday, like, um, during New Year's Eve. I don't exactly plan on waiting till 12 a.m. New Year's Eve playing Animal Crossing, just because I have a life too sometimes. So for events like that where I necessary, where I definitely cannot make it to um, the event of the game, I may time travel. There's one more event in the game that I could imagine that that may be a problem. That's uh, that's some kind of um, or that that's uh, a sport game that's in the middle of the day when I have school. So it'll just be like. I wouldn't really have time to do that or anything, or maybe I will, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, time traveling will not really be too much of a thing, but it will be somewhat of a thing. And then I'll also, the only, I will be, okay, third rule is I will be recording this every single day possible. So, like, you're seeing this video, and then I'm not going to record the next video until tomorrow, and so on and so on. Except it, I may or may not have to do that occasionally, depending on, like... If I'll, um, let's say, have internet or not for a day, because I'll, I'll, at some point I will lose internet. Or not internet, yeah, at some point I may have a little bit of technical difficulties, as in I will not absolutely not be able to record, and so I'll just need to record ahead of time. And so, yes. So whenever, I'll, um, by the way, whenever I do time travel, or if I record ahead of time, I will let you guys know, just because I, f I only feel it would be fair to do this for 365 days if I let you guys be aware of what's going on. By the way, 
I'm not promising that this is going to be successful. This is more or less just sort of an attempt to see if I can possibly do this. Since who even knows, a year's a long time. I do not know if I'll be able to keep this promise or not. I'm hoping I will. Oh, man. Okay, I'm back. So, <laughs> I had to immediately cut there because there is uh, a particular face I want for this. So, but Because depending on the answers you give Rover here, he will get it, give you a different face. So, there was one thing I wanted to check. And I want to tell him I don't know if I have any money. He looks so helpless. But don't worry, these things have a way of working. Let's hope so. I don't want to be homeless at all. Say, money makes the world go round. What goes around comes around. Wait, I've confused myself. It's okay, I'm confused too. Look at those trees in the window. It's like, whoa! Look at all those lines. And we made the Florida. And Florida, in all lowercase, is also a tradition I've had with every single Animal Crossing game I've played. And I always name my town Florida in all lowercase, and I've always had my name Chris with all lowercase. Let's hope I got the right face. Please. I don't want to risk it. Oh, I did. Okay. Thank goodness gracious. Florida. Now arriving at Florida. Welcome to Florida. Watch your stuff. Eek, eek. Look at this monkey. Ah, uh, girl, look at that monkey. Ah, uh, girl, look at that monkey. Watch him, watch me. Stop watching me! Alright, let's go down here. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, 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 you there. Yes, you! Who's he talking to? It's not me. Pff, don't be redonkulous. Would your name happen to be Chris in all lowercase letters? Good, good. How terrible punctuation you have. I just now had a phone call about you. Hmm? Woo! I'm glad I made it in here. Time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life. But I ramble! My name is Tom Nuke. I, uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yes? Something strikes me as odd. Though, my young friend, moving to a town before settling in a place to live. Why, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard of! Madness! Absolute madness, hmm? Whoa! <laughs> Don't laugh at me! I'm trying my hardest! I was kicked out! And now I have to fend for myself! Whoa! Hoo -hoo. I am putting me, I beg you! That's just struck my funny bone! Wow, what an asshole! He's laughing at me for no real reason! Okay, you got a house to shoot my knees, so let's come along, let's scuttle! I wish you could walk. See the map right there? I wish I could go see the map and see what my town looks like. But he's not gonna let me do that because he's a bump face. Here we are, not too shabby. Hmm? I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to look around inside. Really, I don't mind. Not in the least, but after all, the doors don't have any locks. Just stand in front of me. Yes, that means at any point in time we could also steal. <laughs> does he let us leave? No, he does not. Wait a moment, where could you be going? You must stay. We've got a place to live. Hmm? Just pick one. Just pick all of them. And okay, um. Personally, I normally go for the bottom left. Do I want to go for the bottom left, though? I don't know. Let's see if there's any notice board. Uh, okay, um, notice all town residents and visitors are free to use this bulletin board to post messages. Let's keep it tasteful, folks. <laughs> Happy Room Academy is now recruiting. Just lay out your room and we'll be judged. Please come by and shop if you're interested. Tom Nuke. P.S. Here's a rough guide to the point system. 10,000 points. Slobber Lord. 20,000 points. A bit stylish. 70,000 points. Hip and hot. So, uh, Happy Room Academy, that'll become relevant later. Adding messages, press A and C button, and etc, etc. That's just how to use a message board. Um, another tradition I have is always bottom left house. Have a good look inside, bear mind. It might be a little, hmm, how you say, cozy, hmm, yes, hmm, yes, indeed, cozy, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so all the houses actually look the exact same on the, uh, the inside, with the exception of the wallpaper and the flooring. But since you could change those... Uh, all the, or we could change um, the wallpaper and the flooring anytime you want. That really doesn't matter all that much. Like that house looks like crap right now. Like that wallpaper is just ugh. It's like steel plating and it'll just look all gross. Well, what do you think? Oh, I love it. I especially love the resting steel on the wall. Yes, I'm quite sure. I am quite sure indeed. Very well, it's decided then. That new house belongs to you, Chris. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. Happy days! I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio on the no extra charge. I could never sell a thing at the shop. Oh boy, so he's giving me stuff. Well, that's still nice of him. He could have charged me. So he's like, quick rundown of your car. I'm sure I'm just careful. As you can know, let's see. House doesn't have any furniture at all. I'm, yes, quite bad, I'm afraid. Anything you'll need, you have to get on your own. What? You mean. You're not gonna furnish a place for free for me? What is this madness? I love how his nose bobs up and down as he talks. Watch this. <laughs> Reminds me of a little like needle or something like just poking out. Like, meh, 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 meh. Well, not you can. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Maybe we'll know if you just nudge stuff though. Ho, ho. Even though I can't really nudge stuff, which is kind of sad. You probably want to pop in neighbors' houses and get some ideas for interior designs. I would. Oh, yes, a weird thing by the door over there. That would be your personal guy. What a weird thing, but the mailbox? What is the guy? Assistance? What? 
or gyroid, depending on your pronunciation. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyroid will meet and greet them, huh? Mm, this truly a must-have. You must teach it messages to show them fellow villagers and stuff. That's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which it can give or even sell to folks. Oh, and one more thing! When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. For that is the only way... For you to save everything you did there, it would be a shame to lose such things. Such terrible things. If you quit playing without talking to it first, that'll be like everything you did that day never even happened. AKA save or die. I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care to never forget it. I'd hate to see something like that happen. Hmm? That marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I don't forget anything. Did you get all that? Uh, I would like you to tell me that again, please. Oh, that was a little hard to fall. Okay, well, we're just gonna... Okay, I'm just kidding. You can actually skip it the second time. You can't do this the first time, so don't try to be all... Edgy and try to immediately skip it. Because, yeah, you, you can skip it all. I, I just wanted to show that off. Because everyone's so scared of really, Oh, no, don't you dare tell me this again. Well, it's really just easy to skip. Oh, with feeding the clothes cost, bells come to 19,800 bells. That is expensive for this tiny little rusty shack. 1,000 bells. 1,000 bells. Ah! I'm not in the talk piece, and I can't make that scream. <laughs> what are you thinking? Okay, well, that was, yes, that would be not nearly enough. Oh, dear, you only have 1,000 bells. You're joking with me, yes? <laughs> yeah, definitely, I definitely have more. Look over there behind you! Run! Okay, I didn't. I can't. I can't move in this cutscene. A thorny situation. Yes, thorny indeed. Then here's what we do: work part time in my shop to pay off the rest. Yes, that's applicable. Actually, it's acceptable. I saw. I said applicable. Splendid. We're all set. That will work wonderfully. Now then, you'll have to come to my shop later. You can find my shop in Acre A1. You can't miss it. So if I owe them nineteen thousand eight hundred bells minus a thousand bells, so that's eighteen thousand eight nine hundred or something like that. Some some odd eighteen thousand bells. And if I'm only getting minimum wage, which is 10 bells- OH MY GOD, WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! Apparently we have a dancing dildo. Great. I can't wait to live with this guy. Alright, so you can't actually save yet, which is kind of crazy. So I actually need- uh, there's no, I wasn't actually in the episode off here, but I forgot. You can't actually save yet. Speaking to your guy, what is how you save, by the way. Uh, how's this looking for town? Ooh. I'm always kind of nervous about the town generation. Bob! Yes! I was hoping I would get Bob. Bob, you are never leaving my spot. Is by far my favorite character in this game. My favorite villager. I don't know why. And he seems to be a lot of people's favorite villagers. Not even entirely sure why. But yeah, there's a museum, the wishing well. We'll get to all that later. Hold on. Wait a minute. Where's the shop? Uh, ooh. Well, actually, that's not too bad. I don't like how there's there's the river here, but there's no bridge. It's like, oh crap, how are we gonna ever get to Tom Nook's place? Well, since our house is right here, all we have to do is go left, cross the bridge, and we run up, and Tom Nook's is right here. Look at this little Nook's cranny. Look at the handwritten sign, it's beautiful. Whoa, look at those angry ass eyes. Well, you finally arrived. What took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. <laughs> Holy kitty. That was a terrible joke. That was bad, and you should feel bad. Yes, good, yes. First off, you don't need to change into these clothes. If you must know, I suppose I'll call it your uniform. Um, goals I do plan on having in this game. I don't know. I can't run past them. Uh, I want to collect all the fish. I want to, I pretty much, I want to complete the museum, which it would mean, which would be entitled to collecting all the fish, all the fossils, all the bugs, and all the, f uh, paintings. No idea if that'll actually happen, happen or not. In my dreams, I'm gonna definitely strive to do that. 18,800. Okay, that's how much we owe. For someone to plant some trees and flowers around my shop. So yes, I want to complete the museum. Uh, I want to pay off my house completely. Look at, look at his nose is literally like poking my eye. Ow! Stop it! Ow! <laughs> Or he's scratching my nose for me. Thanks, my nose was actually kind of itchy. Thanks, Mr. Tom Nook. So yeah, I want to pay off the house. Uh, what else do I want? I want to showcase a whole bunch of glitches in this game. Uh, actually, yeah, we will plant these here. Um, showcase glitches. Um, pretty much, I would love to be able to complete the furniture set, but I don't even know if that's even possible. As in, collect every single piece of furniture in the game, but I don't actually know if that's even possible for a one-year run. So I'm gonna try at that, I guess. Um, pretty much, if I don't already, if I haven't ever owned it before, I'm gonna buy it at Tom Nooks and such. But yeah, I shall try my best, cause I'm the best. Uh, look at I got too many flowers of the same thing. God dang! I'm gonna show all the holiday events. Uh, what else? Um, for trees, 
I don't really like climbing near Tom Nooks, but I also don't really want to get lost, so we're going to stay somewhat near. We're going to plant a tree right here. Sapling, as you can see, you just go to the menu and you just click plant on it and it plants and it's beautiful. Oh, okay, and oranges. Alright, I'm going to definitely set up a, uh, a orchard too. An orchard? An orchard? Is that, what is, what is the pronunciation on that? Orchard? Orchid? I don't know. I don't know pronounce words. <laughs> Um, so we got, uh, oranges as our native fruits, but there are other fruits in the game, like peaches and apples, and you can collect those later on in the game, so we shall be doing that. We have planted all of the plants, but how are we doing on time? We should definitely end off the episode. Episodes will be in between 10 minutes and 20 minutes. I'll try my best of, my best of my ability to keep it at that. Ah, uh, we'll laugh at you anyways. Your little chore, we'll call it 80 bells! Well, that's not bad. I mean, honestly, that's, that's pretty close. I mean, that's... Let's see. Well, actually, I don't want to do stuff. That'd be math. Chris, you just moved to Florida. I was going to try and figure out how many times of 80 bell jobs it would take for me to do this, but nope. Give you a little break, so why don't you go and introduce yourself to everyone in town? Hmm? Go on, now. Don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor, too. That would show some class. You'll probably find him wandering in the wishing well. I'll see you later. Hmm? Yes? Mm hmm? Yes? Yes? Hmm. All right, and I guess that's going to conclude today's episode of the, f the first step in a 365-day step journey towards beating this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at this point you can't save right. Welcome home, Chris. I'm currently processing- Oh, no! God dang it. Curses. Curse you, gyroid. So I guess you do have to go actually go talk to everybody. And I can't end off the episode since I'm not- I can't save yet. So that kind of stinks. Up. Okay, so we- Okay, we just gotta memorize. Everyone's pretty much on a straight row here. So we gotta go meet everyone, including the mayor. Meyer! And then without getting lost. We don't have a map, a portable map with us, which is kind of stinks. But, you know, we gotta deal with it. We gotta deal with it, bro. So we're gonna meet- Oh! <gasps> Bob! <laughs> what? What? What is it? Don't scare me like that! Sheesh! I don't know who you... Did you just go around scaring total strangers? That's mean! Pff, pff. Uh, Bob, nice to meet you. But next time, don't scare me like that, Chris! Oh, Bob. I hope you never move from my town. Villagers can move to and from your town. Ooh, what's this Star Lake thing in the ground? I wonder. Hey, good afternoon! I haven't seen you before here, have I? Ace? I'm Ace! And what about you? What's your name? Right, I gotcha. Chris, huh? Okay, Chris, let's be pals. If the others give you trouble, come talk to me, Ace. See, all the characters in this game actually have catchphrases, which is kind of silly and interesting at the same time, at the exact same time. So, like, Bob had the pff, Ace had Ace, which is kind of funny because, you know, it's like literally his own name. I can hear you perfectly well through raising your voice like that, Tisk Tisk. But regardless, you see here, Chris? Haha, <laughs> what a childish name. Oh, I'm sorry. How dare you? I'm Yuka. Well, aren't you going to tell me how lovely my name is? That is a very Australian name. So that was cool, I guess. You see, even when you called my name silly, I still said your name was cool. What, an, what a butt you are. What a silly little butt turkey face. Okay, so we're going to move. I, uh, normally, the first thing I like to do is I like to explore people's houses when they first move into town or I first meet them. And just, you know, look what they have. But I don't really have time for that. Oh, good God. Bubbles. What do you want from me, hipster? Oh, well, hipster! That's awesome! <laughs> I know you've been watching me. What? Still, I haven't made any new friends lately, so I guess we can hang out later, hipster. My name's Bubbles. What's your name? Bubbles! And na 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 Powerpuff Girls reference. I don't know the song. Just don't just laugh at me or something. Okay, so that's Bubbles, the most loveliest of poop bubbles. I mean, she's literally a poop bubble. That's really gross. I should stop talking right now. Um, I there's one acre I know where two people live in, and I don't remember what that acre is in particular. I'm just kind of wandering around at this point. Where are you? Is it this acre? Please be this acre. Actually, my oh 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 who, whoa, Rasher! You certainly look rash. He also looks like a football. Hey, hey, hey! Do I know you? I don't think so, swine! What are you doing sk skulking around like that? Oh, you say your name's Chris, is it? Hey, calm down! You don't need to be so scared. I'm sorry if I was mean. I'm Rasher. Nice to meet you. Don't need to be- Hey, man! It's no need to be so rash! <coughs> oh, his voice hurt my throat. <coughs> oh, jeez. Inice? In Inice? Eunice? Eunice? Eunice. I think it's Eunice, right? If you don't mind, I think we could be friends. Oh, that's super. I'm a little shy, but I'm glad you work at the courage. Talk to you, Lamb Chop Soul. Meet you together. Uh, so much fun, Chris. Have a fun afternoon. Yay! So, uh, in this game, there's actually a whole bunch of personalities. Oh, there's a museum. That's not exactly what I want. The Wishing Whale. I want the Wishing Whale. Is it? Is this? Okay, that's the lake. Uh, oh, here we go. 
There's, also mul there's multiple personalities in this game. There's... Oh, jeez, I don't remember these. Who do you respect the most? There's Lazy, there's Athletic, there's um, Preppy. There, uh, oh, jeez, I don't know. Uh, respect the most? <sighs> I'm going to say my grandpa because I, I've never met one of my grandpas. <laughs> Just to be unbiased. How dare you put me on the spot, Mr. Tortimer. My name is Tortimer. You be the mayor of Florida. Yipper, quit the big job. <laughs> I'm really old. You seem decent, so whenever there's a holiday event going on town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure they'll have some interesting to pass on. Yipper, I sure will. <laughs> okay, so Tortimer you'll only normally see during special events. And so that's the only time you'll ever really see him in the game, which is kind of interesting. Because you can't just go talk to the mayor whenever you want. So if you want to file a complaint, you can't do it! <laughs> like if Rapture's being mean to me. Oh yeah, there's... Okay, there's Lazy, there's Athletic, there's Preppy, there's Grumpy. And... Oh crap, where's the ladder to get up this place or the hill? And I believe that's it. There's... Oh yeah, there's Shy. I believe there's five, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. But yes, okay, I believe that is going to be it for today. I'm just going to go back to my house. We're gonna save, and it's gonna be the saviest save. I'm gonna save the day. Yeah, literally and figuratively, because I'm freaking save tastic. Creep, please. Welcome, to Chris. Maybe we have assistance. Okay, it's after you meet everybody. Oh, you know what? I only had to meet one person. Would you like to save? Yes, that's right. Chris proceeded. Please enter the house. The reason it doesn't let you save is because of the saving um, features of this game. Like, Bob. You see, as the character that's in our village. That's why we need to meet someone that was already, um, that's why we need to meet someone before I could actually save, because otherwise they wouldn't have anyone to throw up here, I'm assuming, that's why anyways. But yep, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, I hope you join me on my t t t 12 month journey, and I shall see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, like it if you haven't already, and if you enjoy it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, see you guys later. Peace out! Yeah!